everyone, welcome to the Grandland video blog for the week of June 18th, 2008. Today we're going to talk about five comics that came out. Uh, we're going to talk about Secret Invasion Fantastic Four, number two of three, Guardians of the Galaxy, number two. Uh, I picked up the Superman Batman, number 49, and the five issues preceding it, so I have a nice little mega review of the six issue story arc, as well as Amazing Spider Man, the most recent one. I've lost the count on the numbering, there's so many. And. One other we'll find out along the way. Let's start with Guardians of the Galaxy number two. As you remember last month, I was pleasantly surprised when I read this book, uh, at least the number one issue. We're the second prints back in here in Grand Land, and the story continues in issue two. There's a nice little Captain America tease that kind of goes on, but of course, as we all know, it's a Guardians of the Galaxy book. It wouldn't be Guardians of the Galaxy without Vance Astrovic. if you remember him from the 90s. Uh, this was interesting. It took the story in directions I didn't quite expect. The thing that I really like about this book is each issue is like its own mission, really, for the team itself. So each issue reads individually, but it's also part of a larger arc. It's, it's a uh, paradigm that I'm seeing a little more often in comics these days. Definitely helps to kind of have a done-in-one and yet a overarching story at the same time. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man 563, that's the number. Brand new day continues, of course. Bob Gale's second story arc. His first one was questionable. I've heard a lot of people say that his first one was the weakest of the four. And uh, it's definitely come back around here. This is definitely a strong arc. Not to say that his first arc was necessarily bad, but it was definitely paled in comparison to uh, Guggenheim, Slot, and uh, the other writers that have worked on the book since then. Zeb Welch. Yes. And uh, this is very good. It's got, you know, the bookie, the enforcers, as you can see from the cover. Hilarious fun. Tons of in-jokes. The single best panel of a comic book in 2008 appears in this book. Uh, somebody tries to hit Spidey in a bar fight with a, a beer bottle that says Brand Atkin. He says, not my brand. He kind of shoots the webbing at them. The not brand act joke goes way back to the Silver Age of Marvel, and being a nerd like me, I got it right away, but uh, I had to explain it to some people, but it's still pretty funny. Good book. And I don't know where it goes. Secret Invasion Fantastic Four, part two of three. Uh, when we last left in issue one, we had the big reveal, which is obviously all across the cover. This is Lyja, the scroll that actually married the Human Torch. And she's come back and she posed as the Invisible Woman and she sabotaged the uh, Baxter building and sent it into the Negative Zone. So you have Thing fighting Negative Zone demons, you have Human Torch fighting a scroll who he was formerly married to and Negative Zone demons. Reed is nowhere to be no nowhere to be seen, Invisible Woman's nowhere to be seen, and it's quite a mess really. Um, again, uh, just like Guardians of the Galaxy, this book went in directions I really didn't expect the story arc to go, and I was pleasantly surprised. I really enjoyed where this is going. Um, I'm kind of disappointed it's only a three-issue story arc, because there's a lot more to be done with it. But uh, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa wrote it, and I've always enjoyed his Fantastic Four work. I was kind of disappointed at once when he was going to be replacing Mark Wade, who was one of my favorite Fantastic Four writers. But uh, Aguirre Sakasa, nothing against him. Great writer. Barry Kitson's on the art, Straight from the Order, which was a great book that was canceled that I enjoyed a lot. Definitely check this out. Of course, it has the Secret Invasion banner. It's going to be really tough to find because everybody's picking those up like hotcakes. Fourth book, surprise I remembered. Old Man Logan. Wolverine issue 66. You get the Civil War team with Mark Millar and Steve McNiven all the way down. Dexter Vines on the inks, Maury Hollowell on the colors. They just got the whole Civil War gang right back together and decided to do this crazy Wolverine story. Um, it's really, really not what I expected. It's very strange. It almost feels like the Old West. It doesn't really even feel like uh, the modern or the, the far future as it is, actually. There's a really interesting catch. It makes for Logan taking on like a final mission. Definitely a good read. Check it out. I'm not always a fan of Mark Millar's stuff. Sometimes he does too much shock and gore. There's like one page of shock in here and it ends up being fake. So, not a big deal. Really well done. Again, the team that gave us Civil War. Brilliant stuff. Hopefully there's not many political overtones, which is what kind of dampened Civil War for me. Lastly on our list today, 
the whole six issue shebang. Superman, Batman. This is the K storyline, uh, written by Green, who writes for Heroes. We got uh, Johnson and Davis on art, and uh, Matt Banning, famously of Image. Kind of have an Image look to the whole series. Uh, we started off here. Very interesting premise. I had talked about this before on the video blog. Uh, Superman gets the idea that we're going to take all the kryptonite in the world, gather it up, toss it into the sun, and the Earth will be safe for Superman. Um, how they get started, I'm actually very surprised at the unique beginning to this story. And again, like I mentioned earlier with the Guardians of the Galaxy, each issue is almost like its own miniature story within the six issue arc, and you see certain developments happen along the way. Uh, Superman has the lead-lined suit to protect himself against the kryptonite. We get into the familiar fight with the guy that's all gray with the bones sticking out. Of course, this time it's kryptonite. And then we wrap it up with a giant kryptonite explosion. All six issues, an amazing read. We've got him here at Grand Land. I enjoyed it immensely. Uh, best Superman Batman story I've read in the entire run, and that includes Logan McGinnis. That's it for this week from here at Grand Land. See you next week.